When I think of food porn and anime, I think of food wars, in part because of the risque reactions to the food, but just as much so because of the very involved dishes that are featured in the work. Some of them are dishes I think that I could pull off with some time and practice, but there are more than a few others that I don't think I could pull off at all due to ingredients that aren't available, or techniques that can actually be tricky to master if you can't afford an actually sharp knife, like laying a cut of meat, for example. Though there are some other series that focus on food that is easier to pull off in the home, like Sweetness and Lightning, but they're not necessarily as heavy on the, the food port side of thing. They're more the healing anime side of thing. But the other anime that comes to mind is the Fate franchise. Combined with the fact that the dishes that show up there are generally not as involved, like, at least not for Japanese audiences. Again, traditional Japanese breakfast involves three dishes, soup, fish, and possibly rolled omelets, or something else, uh, rice related, and I don't know if I could consistently get all three done, uh, prepared before work. This all leads to today's menu for Emiya Family, a series that jettisons the darkness and bloodshed of the core series into the sun, or the sea, whatever your preferred analogy is, and replace it with a warm and fluffy experience with the core protagonists just dining together. Family meals are very much at the core of this series. Most of the dishes of this show are generally very simple, with ingredients that would easily be available to Japanese viewers, and which would probably also be doable for American viewers with a trip to a Japanese or Asian grocery. Additionally, the dishes most usually don't require anything more advanced than some basic frying, um, and with like one exception, not requiring any dedicated pans or other kitchen gear that would only really be used for one dish. It makes for dishes that work well for comfort food without being too involved. This, this series originally came out monthly, which with each episode focusing on one dish that was appropriate for that time of year. For example, uh, the traditional New Year's Day meal in January, that sort of thing. Amia family also drops other members of the peripheral fate cast of the series as well. Extended family members, if you will, like having Lancer drop by to make salmon or to have salmon cooked by Emiya, rather, in the second episode of the show, and a later and the December episode having a big Christmas dinner with Sakura and Ryder, and Rin, and the, um, Ainz, and the, um, and Ilya's family. I keep forgetting how to pronounce their last name. Each episode has a bit of a chill slice of knife life framing narrative leading up to whatever dish is being cooked that episode. Most of the time it's Shiro doing freaking home with occasional episode where Rin does some cooking as well or similar sorts of things. What I appreciate about how the cooking is presented in this show though is that the series takes a very deliberate methodical approach to showing the cooking process. UFO Table, the animation studio who made the series, shows with really good detail each step of the preparation process. Um, clearly operating from reference footage, but not necessarily rotoscoping. It allows the audience to see how every step of the work is done in a ways where food wars don't show their work. Actually, it even shows a better degree of detail in terms of the preparation process than some cooking shows do, That which is very impressive. If you're looking for a food porn anime series that is less heavy on the porn and more heavy on the food, uh, particularly... Uh, series that leaves you going, you know, I bet I can make that after you've watched it being prepared, I would definitely recommend checking out Emiya Family. The series is currently streaming on Crunchyroll as of this recording, and the manga has also received a US release, and as of when this goes out, Volume 2 should be out. Um, each chapter of the manga has the recipe for the dish that is prepared in that chapter, so you can follow in the footsteps of the characters and make some of the dishes that are used in the show. So I, you know, I would definitely recommend checking that as well. The manga is currently available from Right Stuff and Amazon. Links are in the show notes. Buying anything through those links helps to support the show.
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like sub and subscribe and click the little bell button to be notified whenever new episodes show up on my channel. If you really like the show, please consider backing it on Patreon. Backers will get their name in the credits, and at higher levels, you get episodes up to one week early, and at even higher levels, you can select what games that I do for my future Let's Plays. You can find my Patreon at patreon.com slash count zero O-R.